Hello and welcome to the video for fifth grade for Friday, April the 24th. This is going to cover our new lesson, uh, working with multiple step problems uh, using units of measurement and converting them. So uh, next year in sixth grade, you will be doing a lot of this. There will be an entire chapter basically uh, devoted to this type of thing um, when we're working with unit rates and so forth. So uh, the things that we're working on today um, all of those units of measurement and their conversions and so forth. Uh, we will be using those again next year uh, towards the beginning of the year. So if this was something that was a struggle for you, I would recommend um, sending me a comment, letting me know um, what you might want to practice on, and I can send you some extra resources um, to practice that. Um, this is an important skill, but it is a skill that um, should be doable if you use the resources that we have available. So for instance, using um, the charts that we have from the other lessons uh, to know what the conversion rates are and so forth uh, will make life a lot easier. So I originally recorded this video and it was a little bit longer and I also um, had an error with my software and you couldn't see the screen. So I'm re-recording this, uh, which is why I'm in a different location than you're probably used to seeing me. And so let's go ahead and take a look at things. So if you need to pause the video um, to work on things, I will give a brief explanation of everything um, <clears throat> with the thought process, but I'm going to move at a pretty good clip. So if you need to pause to do some of the work, uh, that would be perfectly acceptable. So uh, two cups of water each day. We have two weeks of dripping. So um, that's going to cover the first two questions. We have 14 days in two weeks. So we can do two times 14 to get 28. Now we want to figure out how to get from cups to quarts. So we have 28 cups. There are two cups in one pint. So we can divide this by two to get 14. And then there are two pints in a quart, so we can do this divided by two to get seven. Um, another thing that you could do, which was the way I was originally taught how to do this, was there are four cups in a quart. So you could take this and divide it by four and go straight to seven. So um, at the bottom, if the faucet dripped for four weeks, well, the amount would be twice as large. Um, so we could take our answer seven quarts double it to get 14. Um, so the next one, a carton of uh, eggs weighs about 1.5 pounds. If a carton holds a dozen eggs, how many ounces does each egg weigh? So this is a two-step problem. Um, and so the first step, we want to figure out how many ounces we have. So 1.5 pounds times 16 gives us 24 ounces. And then we are going to divide that by the number of eggs, which is 12. So 24 divided by 12 would give us 2. So number one at the bottom, um, after soccer practice, Scott runs four sprints of 80 yards each. If he continues his routine, how many practices will it take? Well, uh, if you want to break out a calculator, uh, what we ended up with was uh, 4 times 20 gives us 80. There are 3,520 uh, yards in two miles. And so we would need to uh, do that routine uh, 44 practices uh, to do that. And so what I ended up doing um, <clears throat> was uh, division. And then I used multiplication to check my answer to make sure I did it correctly. So that's what you're seeing here uh, was when I did multiplication to check my answer. Uh, number three, so we have five one gallon jugs. Um, if we are using paper cups that hold eight fluid ounces, um, let's go down to the bottom here. I'm gonna put that back where it was. Um, one gallon is equal to four quarts. And so we want to try to get um, all the way down to the number of ounces. So one of the things that we can do is one gallon is equal to four quarts. Um, we have five gallons to start with. So five times four would you give us 20 quarts. Double that to get the number of pints. Double it to get the number of cups. If we wanted to go all the way to ounces, then we would multiply by eight 
to get 640 ounces, but we don't need to do that because we are just going to um, a cup. So eight fluid ounces is worth a cup. Um, so we don't need to go all the way to finding uh, the number of ounces. That would be 80 uh, cups that we would use. And then um, our last page, number five, we have a string of lights 28 feet long. The first light is 16 inches from the plug. Um, if the lights of the string are spaced four inches apart, how many lights are there on the string? So um, I'm not going to draw a picture, um, but what I ended up doing was I figured out how many inches we would have. Um, so that would be 28 times 12. And so here are my partial products for that. That would give me 336 inches. I'm going to subtract and take away uh, 16 to get 320. Um, my understanding was um, it could either be 80 or 81. So my argument for it being 81 is that my first light would come here and then I can divide 320 divided by four to get 80. So this part would be worth 80 lights and then this one would be the 81st light. So if you came up with 80, that's understandable. I would believe, I would argue that that should be 81 um, because this would be our first light and there will be 80 more lights that are covered in this part. Um, so number seven, an African male elephant weighs seven tons. One ton is worth 2,000 pounds, so that gives us 14,000 pounds. Um, if we want to find what the weight of 1 40th of that is, um, what we can do is divide 14,000 divided by 40. Where you see my scratches is I wrote it as a fraction to show that we can reduce this part before we start by dividing by 10. And so that gives us uh, 1,400 divided by 4, which is a little bit easier and a little bit less time consuming. Um, if you did it that route, then we would be looking at 350 here. If not, we would have our first digit be here, and it would still be the same answer, which would be 350. Uh, number nine, a gallon of gasoline weighs about six pounds. How many ounces does one quart? So we are taking a smaller amount. So we are going to take our um, weight and multiply it by 16 ounces and that would give us 96 ounces divide by four because we are taking one fourth of a gallon and that would give us 24 ounces and so for the last part um, I believe this is actually the homework so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here um, I'll make a separate video that talks about the homework. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. This ended up being almost a 16-17 uh, minute video uh, when I did it because I was taking the time to work out the problems and so forth. Um, obviously, I haven't done that, so hopefully uh, everything makes sense if you need to. Again, I always recommend that you pause the video so that you can practice it for yourself. Make sure you came up with the same answer. Um, and if you don't, take the time to figure out uh, what your mistake might have been and what would uh, be, help you get to the correct answer. So hope you have a great day. I will see you in the next video or on Monday.